Hello everybody, John Spilsato here from the Arizona Home Group at Keller Williams Sonora and Living. On behalf of the entire team, hope you're having a fantastic weekend and January 2021 has started off with a bang. Before we dive into the numbers here, I want to talk, uh, give a shout out to the Cromford Report and Tina Tambor and Mike Orr. Uh, they provide all these stats and all these graphs for us every year. Uh, it's absolutely in invaluable and I just want to say thanks again uh, for a great uh, set webinar last week. Uh, Tina, thank you so much. So let's dive right into it. Let's look at our big blue wave okay and which gets smaller and smaller every month uh, this is inventory there's a number of homes this is supply of homes we're down to under 5600 homes available for sale in the Phoenix metro area uh, that is absolutely mind-numbing about <laughs> how much it's disappeared. It's down 52% year over year. And two years ago uh, in January, we're at over 17,000 homes. So you can see how far it's dropped. Uh, this is a new graph I've never shown you before and is really colorful and a little confusing, but basically all of these lines represent each year going back uh, 15 years. And it's plotting inventory tracking every month. And you can see where we are, January, 2021. It's the lowest we've ever been. We're even lower than we were in May of 2005 when the frenzy bubble was uh, going crazy at its worst. So um, we are at the lowest inventory we've ever had. Here is our yellow line, which basically represents normalcy or the average, and it should be somewhere around 20 to 21,000 homes, and we are just light years from that. Um, so that's supply. Let's talk about demand, the other side of the equation. So here was 2020. We can see typical patterns that we see every year, except for COVID and quarantine. Things pick up in January, and you can see things are starting to pick up again in January, following right along suit. Uh, here's our Crawford index again. So again, very green, very heavy towards the sellers. Sellers market market, very low supply, very high demand. But interestingly enough, you can see the trend in December uh, for demand went down 4%, but supply went down 5.6. So that moved the needle further towards the sellers. Uh, this is a great graph as well provided by Tina. Um, and this was fabulous because this shows you supply versus demand over every year. Okay, so going back to 2001, you can see red line is demand, green line is, uh, is uh, supply, I'm sorry, opposites, the green line is supply. And you can see where we are right now. Demand is, uh, up 30% and supply is down 70%. That's a huge spread. The opposite, okay, was back at the top of the bubble just before the market started to crash. We had a way over supply and a way below demand. And you can see how that has switched over the last uh, 10 years or so. So what's the net effect of that? Well, of course, it's on pricing upwards and the median home price in Phoenix is now 345,000. We started out 2020 at 290. That's a 16% increase in value year over year. And I don't care what market you are in, that's a, those are unprecedented numbers. <clears throat> Here's the historical pattern, okay? The difference between um, uh, the population growth and the inventory, because at the end of the day, it's really about migration patterns and people moving to Phoenix. And you can see at the beginning of the century, we had more homes than people coming in, okay, the red line. Uh, we had an oversupply, then the population growth percentage every month, then the market crashed, and then it flipped. Then uh, Phoenix became very affordable, and people started to move here in the last decade. And you can see that gap between the percentage of population growth every year versus the new builds and the inventory. And there's always been, there's a depletion. We have less homes available than people moving in. And that migration is not stopping anytime soon. Uh, this is a cool graph from United Van Lines. This shows just their business and what they do, but they show um, that the people moving to uh, Arizona are still heavily the retirees. Uh, they represent 37% of the migration. Um, and so 70% of people moving to Phoenix are, are, are 55 or older, but they're bringing in good income, uh, over $100,000 uh, for salary. So that's great and retirement income. Uh, but 24% of the people are still coming here for jobs. And this is the key. These jobs now are more heavily weighted towards high tech, high skilled paying jobs. Uh, we've had big companies and big corporations move in in the last couple of years, Amazon, Microsoft, Google. Um, and now we've got 
got a Taiwan Semiconductor Company that just bought a $90 million parcel up off of I-17 in the 303. Huge. Uh, we beat out Austin and Silicon Valley as a destination spot. Then they're going to bring in close to 2,000 jobs in the next couple of years. So this is the kind of pattern that's happening. And this will continue over the next uh, 10 years. There's no doubt about it. Um, and we just need our new our builders to help us out. We've got to have new, new growth. And so this is going to show you new permits that were pulled every year since 1996 and again top of the market the frenzy back in 2004 and 5 we had over 60,000 new permits that were being built by, uh, pulled by the builders and you can see where it crashed now it came back slowly it's great we're up 24 percent year over year there's over 28,000 new builds uh, permits that were pulled but we've got a long way to go uh, to get back to where we were and to fill that gap as people keep coming here in droves the last thing I'm going to show you is this heat map this is really cool this is going to show you the valley growth and this purple all these purple areas are already approved and zoned planned areas for growth for communities and developments and you can see the West Valley heavy heavy uh, this Buckeye Tonopah area this is actually west of the White Tank Mountains like you can't if you look west you can't see this it's on the other side of the mountains and you watch this this is just gonna blow up the next uh, decade or so and you got Maricopa and you've got Casa Grande down here or hot spots of course Santan Valley um, and then even Florence you know going down towards uh, Tucson Again, any of these uh, freeway corridors are just going to just develop in the next decade or so. Um, the prognosis is uh, a million people in the next decade, over 100,000 people a year. So people are coming here. There's nothing you can do uh, to change it. Uh, the good news is that prices will continue to rise. The bad news is that prices will continue to rise. <laughs> That's just kind of how it works. So anyway, so John Sposato from the Arizona Home Group on behalf of the entire team. Don't ever hesitate to reach out to any of our team members to answer any of your questions. Um, and we're here to help. You guys have a great weekend and we'll see you in February. Take care.